hello, 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 every, everyone, every ones, every ones. <laughs> Welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life and make sure that you get an amazing life on every single day. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show me some love. Um, leave a comment in the comment section if the video resonates. All right. So this reading is for Taurus. All right. And so we're going to go ahead and pull these cards. First card out Taurus is the Four of Cups. And so you could have an abundance already in your life, but you're focused on something. You're really thinking about heavily about something you feel could sort of sad about. So you're really not paying attention to uh, at, at other offers that are being made to you right now. Um, it's like you're all in your head about something. You're feeling very emotional about something, a situation that could have just recently taken place in your life. Um this could be concerning a love connection or some sort of like something that you all um you were con someone who you were connected to um in some sort of way somebody who you had deep feelings for and you could be going through some sort of like heartbreaking situation um you could have just ended a relationship or like you're worried about a relationship ending in your life or somebody you could be thinking back to someone from your past who you lost, even though you already have other options and you already have other like choices right here. It's like your mind is somewhere else um, because you're focused on who or something that you um, do not have or something that you lost. Then we have a five of pentacles right on, underneath that. And so I just get the energy you you're worrying unnecessarily it's like you really in your head you could be focused on financial loss as well <clears throat> you could be feeling like <clears throat> you lost someone due to withholding finances or like you face some sort of situation um maybe you weren't being sh maybe you weren't sharing you know, finances or you finances weren't equally being distributed or something in the household. And so I just get that you have your you're focused on something that you're lo you lost. Your mind is somewhere else in, in your current situation. You're not really focusing on um, other offers that are being th other things that are being offered to you or other opportunities that surround you or something. And then we have a high priestess, a high priestess. She knows things. She doesn't tell. She find out whatever she wants. This is a Pisces card. Um, so you could have gone through like a tower moment with a Pisces or something. Um, <clears throat> due to the Pisces finding out a situation. Um, then we have the death card right up under that. So I just get a serious ending, like a brutal, sudden ending, something like that with this Pisces that you all could have faced. You could have been, um, you could have had some sort of like emotional connection or something with this person. The Pisces, um, could have felt like they were the, uh, holding on to too much or like putting more work into this connection than, um, you were putting towards. And so because they were trying to work towards a, um, a happy ending with you or something, but it caused an abundance of stress. They could have felt like they were carrying more than they should have carried in the connection. Doesn't necessarily have to be with the Pisces. This could be the energy um, from someone. This could have been another water sign. This could have been a um, another earth sign. Um, this also could have been with a Scorpio or something or a uh, fire sign, maybe even a... Um, Aries. Okay. And so it looks like you were facing some really hard situations um, due to, and you're feeling sad about the fact that you lost somebody who, and they could have said that they are carrying more of the relationship than you are, than you were, like you weren't giving to them as much as 
um, you should have or you wasn't giving to the relationship as much as you should have or something. And it's like, I just get the energy. You're really sad about losing someone. You're Even though you have other options around you, you're really sad about things kind of ending sort of suddenly or this person putting an ending to you all's connection or like letting something go um, unexpectedly. But I get, I could hear this person telling you they were tired of carrying the burden of the relationship. And that's the reason why things are ending. Um, and then we have this tower moment here. So I get that you faced a serious tower moment with this person. Like you went through some really, really serious situations. Things came to an end. Um, you could have also, I also get the energy, Taurus, you could have, were you married to someone and had a relationship with someone else? Because we have this Empress card here, you know, and it kind of puts me in that energy like that, you know, that marriage, um, like a wife or something like that, or like that motherly energy. And so you could have faced a tower moment with this person, like you could have faced like some sort of went through a, a recent divorce um, due to maybe you had some sort of mistress. Um that your wife or your husband found out about. And you could be crying over losing your mistress or something. Like the, the marriage could be coming to an end, but sure, I, I just get the energy. You're more hurt that things didn't work out with your mistress than, you know, your own wife or your own husband or something. Um, But it could have been due to like, just too many options, too many things, too too much availability, too many choices, um, too many games being played, too much manipulation, too many, you know, just too much on the table. Um, I get that you may have, if you weren't married, if you weren't like legally married, it was like common law marriage or something where this person is ending a connection or this connection between you and this person has ended. Um, and it was due to the fact that you may have had too many options or your person had too many other options or they were entertaining too many other things behind your back or you were you could, you could have been you entertaining too many things. I just get mistress and wife or mistress and husband. Um and I get that you're kind of sad over losing the mistress, though. That's what I get. Like, but I get that this mistress put an end to this. So you could have had, you could have lost like your mistress and your wife or your mistress and your husband or something. Whoever you were, you know, messing around with on the side, you could have lost them and lost your, you know, your, your common law marriage wife or common law marriage husband or your your legally married wife and legally married husband. It, I just get that you sort of feel bad because you lost some things, like some relationships ended. Um, but it was due to you not being honest about something or this person not being honest about something. And so you could have felt like that connection was just, at, it just wasn't at a healthy place. And um, I get that you're worried about finances, though. Something about, or you could be worried that people are, like, are going to know your business or find out your, your financial situation. So maybe you pretended to have more than what you actually have. Um, this mistress could have found out that you have more than what you actually have or you found out that somebody has. So it's like, I guess somebody was hiding money or lying about their status or something as far as like their financial status. Then you have someone carrying way too much of the relationship, way too much of the burden. It looks like you have a number of things going on, Taurus. A number of situations going on. Okay, then... We have the page of wands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
I guess like there's a lot of, you know, like adventure, sexuality um, going on here. I just get that this, you know, you could have stayed in this common law marriage or like this marriage due to the sex. Um, this was somebody who I just get you were very familiar with. And you kind of just stayed in there because this person, I get the energy, they were very adventurous in bed. Or you you just got used to sleeping with them. Like they were sort of like that comfort that you love to have. Um, and so I just get that you thought that they would never leave or either they thought you would never leave. Um, but it's like that tower moment came and something like it's like you're looking at new horizons or something after that tower moment and then we have the wheel of fortune things turning around so you could be trying to change a situation with this like this high priestess i just get it's a lot of you know, like confusion going on in your current life right now. You're, you're, if it's not on the out, I get it is on the outside though, but it's like inner confusion too. It's like you're trying to change a situation with this high priestess. This could be with the Pisces or it could just be with your mistress or something that you're trying to change a situation with. Um, you want to see things kind of turn around. If this person was carrying more of the, the relationship or showing more affection by them being like the mistress and maybe you weren't showing that, it's like, and they decided to end it and put a, a you know, a stop to what was happening. Um, it's like you want that to change. It's like you want things to sort of like you all to have a better connection or something. Um, and then we have the page of pentacles so this person whoever this is they're ready to start a new journey i don't know who who you had at this tower moment with but it's like they're just so ready to move on and they're kind of realizing that they kind of stayed in there due to the sex um they stay they stayed around and maybe tolerated something with you longer than they felt like they should have due to the sex or either you felt like it should have been over but you stayed in it due to the sex um whoever this is it looks like they're really ready to start they're, they're really to, ready to go in a new direction um and build new connections in their life Taurus it looks like they just want to start over somewhere else it's like they're waking up to the realization that this is really over. And then we have the tower moment. Mm. So I get that. I Like I said, I get that this person, whoever, I get that you are like, like you have ended a situation or a situation has ended with this mistress or someone, your side chick, your side dude, whoever. Um, as well as the main person. I get that. And you're, you have other options, other blessings, but you're feeling like you're feeling really sad about something. And you could be worried about finances too. You could be worried about money too, because of these endings. I get that you had a lot of love um, for this person. It's like you stayed in one relationship due to sex you stayed in the other relationship um, due to just being comfortable or, you know, it, because it was familiar or something to you. That could have been you stayed in your marriage just because it was familiar or comfortable or just for the, you know, because you, you, you felt like the sex was great with them or something, but it's, or this person is waking up to reality. Like I'm ready to start a new chapter. I'm ready to move on to a new journey, but not with you though, Taurus. Um, I get that a tower moment. 
because you have two. It's like you face a tower moment. You have a tower moment over here with this person, with this empress, and you also have a tower moment with this high priestess. So, damn. Like, damn, Taurus. Like, what you do? What you do? What you do? It's like, what? It's like you faced tower moments on both ends. And that's why you're in this four cups energy. Like, just really in your head. Not saying that you still have a lot of blessings um, around you. I also get that you stayed in one of these relationships due to finances too. Like you, you felt like, and this could have been with your wife or your husband that you stayed in this due to finances because like you, you know, kind of like, it was more of like some sort of, sort of like a business deal too in the relationship. Um, But then the other, your mistress could have felt like they were putting way more into this connection than they should have. So they wanted, they it, it they ended this. It, it, you face a tower moment with them too. They put a death to this. They found out a lot of stuff. So you could have even been telling them, Taurus, like you wanted to get a divorce and your wife or your husband wouldn't divorce you when in fact you were just enjoying having both of these people like there wasn't a real divorce you weren't thinking about divorcing this person or letting the mistress or you know go or something um you were trying to have your cake and eat it too and i get that like the wife or the husband found out as well as the mistress and put it in both of them decided to step off okay then we have the five of wands yeah there's a lot i mean i'm sorry the five of swords there's a lot there's a long history that you have with this person this is what i get this is why i say common law marriage um if you all did not put on like you know stand before an altar and and put on rings and exchange vows it's like you've been together so long with this person it's considered common law marriage just because you have been together you could have even been together for decades um and it's like you went through down a long road, a long path. You all go, you all go back. Um, but I also get there's a lot of confusion. There was a lot of arguing, and this person just do not see a healthy outcome with you, Taurus. So they're moving on. Um, it's just like the fighting became too much. The arguing became too much. I even get some sort of like addiction maybe at play, drinking, smoking or drugs or something maybe at play in this connection. This person just, and, and I get that you may have stayed in their tours due to money, um, but it, it has, it's, you and this you and this person face a serious tower moment. There's a lot of arguing there. And then the magician, on this side so Taurus I get that with this energy here it's just like you feel like a lot of mind games were being played or somebody wasn't being honest with you um on this on this side with this mistress but this mistress feel the exact same way and that's why it's like you want them to to you want things to change you don't want this tower moment to happen with your mistress but you also don't want to have to deal with a tower moment with your your main person either um and this this mistress could have told you like you're playing too many games and I like you're playing way too many games as as the magician. Like you have all of everything you need from everybody. You have your cake and you're eating it too. And it's not beneficial. Um, it's not it's not benefiting this mistress in any way or this person, your side person in any way. So I just get the energy. They're out. Um they feel like you're playing games with them. Like, so you could have promised them that you were going to get a divorce a long time ago or said that the person wouldn't sign divorce papers or something when in fact you weren't even trying to really get a divorce um, or either, you know, you could have said that the person wouldn't leave you when in fact you didn't want to leave them because you were having your fun in, on both sides. This mistress could have find, found out the truth um, and felt like you were just like a manipulator or something like you were manipulating the situation. Okay, and then the final card out is 
the four of swords. I get Taurus, you're just over the whole situation at this point. Like you're just really in your mind. Um, your main focus right now is not on, it's like you want to resolve the matter with both parties. And I get that you have like tried to, but because maybe you weren't being as honest as you should have been with both people that you're just kind of like, okay, you know what? I'm tired of fighting. I give up. That's what I get. Like I hear, I give up um, because you're tired of like, you're tired of, of the situation with your main person and you're tired of the situation with your side person. You're tired of the, the tower moments, the, you know, if I just get you were sort of like caught in the act or something. And, um, and it caused like you all to have a lot of arguments with your main person, this, um, your side person was saying that you were manipulative, like you just played too many games with them or something like that. I mean, they were tired of being on this Ferris wheel where round and round and round and round. And, you know, so they decided to get off. And I just get the church is kind of like, OK, you know what? Forget it. Forget everything. Forget everybody. I'm just not even I'm just going to take time out for me. Like, I just feel like like you were enjoying all the benefits of having um, two people in your life at first until things became a way too complicated, right? Um, until things became exposed. And then it was just like, now you're just tired of all of the fighting, all of the all of the problems and stuff like that. And so you, you're just taking a step back from it. I get that you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to have that disagreement and that arguing anymore and so you've just taken this kind of like step back to think about everything about to think about the main person your side person the role you played what was going on um and it's just like you're trying to just take a relaxation day to pay for yourself to just you know think things through um and just take a rest, like a mental break, a vacation, a step back from the situation so you can kind of see things from this main person point of view as well as your side person's point of view. That's it. That's the end of the reading. Um, okay, so Taurus, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And make sure that you drop a, a comment in the comment section and make sure you hit that like, share and subscribe button. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you soon.